Okay, this question is for, or this video is for DSS Blogger. And I actually don't think you should focus on interval training, right? The question is, which, which one of these intervals should I choose? But I think at the deeper level, your, your aerobic ability could be trained with a simple breath trainer. And, and with, if, with two to three minutes of training a day with an O2 trainer, it's my personal favorite, I'm biased because it's the first one I've used. It's pretty cheap, maybe 59 bucks, 59 bucks. And I've seen improvements in my breathing, right? The, the O2 trainer website, it teaches you how to do belly breathing, which is basically, um, it's going like this. Most people, if you tell them to take a, take a deep breath, they'll go, they'll breathe through their upper back and chest. Supposedly this is not the right way to breathe. So. I wouldn't focus less on interval training, right? Or because even even if you're a center midfielder or a winger and you need to rely heavily on running, I think your ability to, to tr control the ball and make good passes and good decisions on the field is better, right? So I would rather you spend more time working on a breath trainer and make sure your your touch is sharp. That means can you juggle a tennis ball for a minute straight, two minutes straight, five minutes straight with alternating with your feet? Can you juggle a heavy ball, right? A, uh, a, like a 2.2 pound medicine ball for for a minute, for two minutes straight? Uh, that's a, I think that's a more informative question. If you could do those things on camera, and I'm a, I'm a college coach, I'm a, I'm a professional coach, I'm looking to see who I want to play, you, your stamina and your endurance will improve through practices, but if your touch is shit and you haven't invested that time, then I think um, that's where I would focus on first. You know, f fitness, fitness and health are actually two different things, right? So um, there are steps that you can take smart eating, good s sleeping that are going to improve your fitness, but if you sacrifice if you sacrifice your your health for for fitness and um, right, if you're not if you're not putting the soccer before right, your your question is posted with the subtitle fitness, but make sure that your touch is on point because if your touch is on point, then um, then you're just gonna be a a, a a runner with a poor touch and that is that's no good. So get the touch going work on the breath trainer right those are my two things spend more time juggling juggling sharpen that touch up and then an o2 trainer i think that's a smart investment it's something i wish i would have invested in a long time ago so hope hopefully this helps okay